Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the quickest and easiest way how to get the Audio Spectrum Waveform in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First I just created a quick outline shape in Adobe Illustrator using the pen tool. So like this, holding shift. But you can use your logo. So if I select this and Control and C or Command and C if you're on a Mac. We'll now jump over into Adobe After Effects and we'll go right click Import, File, Control and I is a shortcut. Select our audio file, click Import, drag this into a new composition, and you can change the composition by going Composition, Composition Settings there, Control and K is a shortcut, and we want it setting at 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames a second. Click OK. We'll go Layer, New, Solid, Control and Y is a shortcut. Create a solid. Go to our effects and presets panel here and go audio. We'll select the audio spectrum and drag that onto our solid here. Then we'll get the audio layer to our music. Select the path, which is none at the moment. But if we control and V or command and V from what we did earlier with the shape, we'll now pull path down and our mask will be there. So if we play that, We can see that's already starting to happen, but we want more points in between, so we'll go frequency bands and pull this up. And we'll also pull the thickness up, like this. We can change the colour here, the inside and outside colour. Or if we use hue interpolation, we can start dragging this up to get multiple colours, or we can hit one on here. So just one full rotation through the spectrum of colours. And we can also play with the start and end frequency, and I think you'll just have to experiment with the low frequencies and high frequencies of your song that you're using. I'll keep this from 10 all the way to 1000 here. And then with this, you can also animate the mask. So if we keyframe the mask there, move it a few seconds. So you can see that the audio layer is still sticking to the mask, no matter how it moves. So you can do this to animated properties as well, which is cool. And if you don't want dots, you can change the display options down here to analog lines. And if you want to change the colors back, just put this to zero and select your custom colors. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to add some audio waves to your shape layers in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.